I like Revolutionary Blackout News, but I don't how, like how they cut ties with Nick Brana and you, your amazing role models. Well, look, um, look, as far as RBN, right? Um, I've never had an issue with the main host guy. They've had me on, nice guy, good stuff. Um, however, there's another uh, guy uh, who's part of their world. He goes by Unholy Rome. And that guy, I do not know what is wrong with him. But he decided out of the blue to announce that anyone who thought Karl Marx and Lincoln had anything to do with each other was retarded. And I sent him all kinds of articles by Karl Marx talking about it. I sent him all kinds of information about it. And he just kept insisting, oh, you're dumb. You're a Nazi. And I'm just like, the fact that Karl Marx supported Abraham Lincoln in the struggle to defeat slavery, the fact that Karl Marx wrote articles for the New York Tribune supporting Abraham Lincoln, this is undisputed historical fact. I mean, read his articles, the dispatches for the New York Tribune, the selected journalism of Karl Marx. Go and read it for yourself. Read about August Willick, the general in the Union Army, the brigadier general in the Union Army, who was a Marxist. Go and read about Joseph Wedemeyer, the Marxist who led the Ohio 9th Infantry Regiment. Go and read the letter that the International Working Men's Association sent to Abraham Lincoln endorsing him in the 1864 presidential election. Like, this guy, and I've sent him article after article from bourgeois, pre all of this, and he just keeps replying with, oh, you're retarded, you're a racist, you're an idiot, oh, you're, no, no Marxist could ever like Lincoln, you retarded if you, and he, and he just, he thinks he can make facts change by insulting me, right? I mean, that's what he thinks. This guy is a piece of shit. I mean, he thinks that, I'm sorry, some things are true, and some things are not. And Karl Marx supported Abraham Lincoln. That is a fact. And the fact that he would call me a racist, a white supremacist, a Nazi. Casey didn't notice the Nazis support the South. Charlottesville, they were marching to support a Confederate monument. And, I mean, you want to talk about a vicious, nasty attack. You want to talk about, you know, I mean, I mean... You're you're calling me a racist for pointing out that my movement was key in standing in solidarity with black people to break the chains of slavery. And it's just the thing is that he incarnates exactly what is wrong with the Marxist movement. He's proud to be stupid. Right. And he's essentially attacking me for being smart. Right. It's it's he's the equivalent of some high school bully. Oh, we got a smart guy there reading books. Yeah, well, you're stupid. That's what he's doing. Right. He is the equivalent of some elementary school bully attacking the smart kid. That's basically what he is. And he's a piece of garbage. And, you know, I mean, it's like, you know, attack me for anything else. But you're going to attack me because I point to what is a well-documented historical fact. That Marx and Lincoln had a relationship right um you know um that's a fact i mean that's just some things are true and some things are not and that is a fact 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 right and the fact that they would like and and it's it's just virtue signaling and the responses the people who like them again they don't care what's true and what's not it's about feelings it's all just about feelings Right. They feel like Lincoln is a white dude who's racist and they don't like him because he's American and America is racist. It's like it's all about how they feel. You can feel that way all you want. And I'm not saying Lincoln was a perfect dude. I'm not saying Lincoln wasn't a racist. He absolutely was that at, at one time, at least. W.B. Du Bois felt that his views changed over the course of the war, but he was pretty clearly saying racist shit for a lot of his life. No one's denying that. But. In the Civil War to end slavery, Karl Marx supported one side in that war. That is a historical fact. And that the Marxist movement globally played a huge role in Britain building solidarity rallies to support Abraham Lincoln and organizing textile workers to refuse to work with cotton picked by slaves. 
facts and and their only response to me pointing out basic facts that are undisputed about the fact that Karl Marx and the Marxists supported Abraham Lincoln in the struggle to defeat slavery is to lie to lie about history and to call me racist and to call me all these things. These people are garbage. I mean, you know, all you have to do is go, wow, I didn't realize that. Or I see what you're saying, Caleb. I still think this about Lincoln. But oh, no, 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 no. Call me racist. Bring up personal attacks. These are nasty, hateful people, right? And you can't engage with people like that. When, I mean, there are some things that are true and some things that are not. And they're essentially trying to viciously attack me for knowing things, right? They want leftists to be stupid. That's what they want. They don't want people that actually understand the history of their country. They don't want people that are actually making conscious decisions about how to change the world. They want Black Lives Matter crowds, people that are like, hey, it's cool. I just saw on Twitter that that uh, the, that it's cool to, to do this thing. And, you know, I mean, if you're attacking me for saying that Marx supported Lincoln, and then I send you article after article after article showing that to be true, and your only response is to call me a racist, your shit. And that's what he is. I mean, you know, now uh, that doesn't speak to the other people at RBN. And I mean, I appreciate, I appreciate different people who've done different things there, you know, but I mean, at the end of the day, look, and the same thing with Nick, instead of, instead of seeing, instead of seeing their platform as a vehicle for building a movement, which is how I view this platform. That's why I know I'm not going to go viral and all of that because it's kind of rigged. Instead of seeing their platform as a vehicle for building an in real life movement, they see their platform as an opportunity to make a buck. That's what they see it as. Um, and because of that, every time there is gossip about somebody like me or Nick Brana or anybody else, anytime somebody's being canceled or there's hate going out about RFK or whoever, they see that as an opportunity to get a little boost, a short-term boost in social media. That's what they think, right? They think that I, that's what they think. They think that drama, allegations, rumors, speculation, they think that that is a great opportunity to get a boost. And that's what they're concerned about. They're not concerned with building a real movement. They're not concerned with actually changing the world. They're concerned about making a buck. And so they love, they, they, they traffic in gossip. They traffic about, they traffic in rumors. They traffic in suspicion. They, 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 they traffic in that stuff. Um, because you know, it gets them likes, right? And if they see that someone's being smeared or lied about, they jump on the bandwagon to try and get attention. And I mean, what more is there to say about it? Um, and it's, I mean, they're, you know, they're, I, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, I could insult them more and I'm not going to, but it's just, you know, when people do stuff like that, right? I'm trying to build a real movement. I'm trying to build a real movement. I'm trying to organize people to build an in real life movement to get real stuff done. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm not interested, not interested at all whatsoever in just getting down and dirty and trading gossip and rumors. And you know what? I'd be a lot safer from that stuff if I didn't do anything in real life. You know, people have attacked me over very personal private things, which they would have never had access to if I was doing what they did. If I was just a voice on the internet, just a voice on the internet, right? I was just a voice on the internet. I would never have been vulnerable enough to be attacked in the vicious, vicious personal ways I've been attacked. Um, but I know that guys on the internet talking are not going to save the world. And I know that a storm is coming. A crisis is on the horizon. And when that crisis gets here, it ain't going to matter how many likes you have or how many shares you have, or if you got an extra $2 this month from views, none of that is going to matter when the crisis comes, folks. None of that is going to matter. All that's going to matter is if we've got a network of people who can pull together, we've got allies, we can make alliances, and we can 
keep safe and keep dry when the storm comes. And the storm is coming faster than you think. I mean, look at the predictions they got about the stock market. So I'm scrambling here to try and build a ship because the storm is coming. And other people are doing the opposite and trafficking and gossip and trying to win the social media race, which whatever, you know, I'm doing something different. I'm doing something different. So I'm trying to build CPI. My heart is in the center for political innovation. My soul is in the center for political innovation. My soul is in the community that we are building, right? Uh, that's where my heart and my soul is. And, um, you know, that's where I'm at. And I'm not trying to make a buck by running other people down. And I'm not trying to, you know, trying to spread gossip and rumors because it'll get me views. I'm trying to actually get things done. 